Hey, how's it going? I'm Hunter with AEM Electronics, and I'm here with Formula Drift driver Chris Forsberg. What's up? And we're working on installing and setting up a CD7 carbon dash mm -hmm. connected to the Motec M150 and the AEM K-Type EGT module and the AEM Vehicle Dynamics module. Why don't you go ahead and just flip on the ignition power just to turn everything on. Okay. I can see on the dash right now it says USB cable connected. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we'll do is we'll just hit file, upload to display. And so this is like the display setup that you um, built back at AM. Correct. So I did, uploading. did this all at my desk, mm -hmm. imported the screens, configured the can, and then now all we have to do is press send. So we just uploaded the MoTeX setup that we configured to the display. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll go through a couple of the pages. These are all pages that you can find in our default screen files. All right. um, just selectable by hitting screen, import screen, and then configuring the data. So here we have an overview diagnostics page with a couple key items that you can look at. Next up we have a uh, more of a race page with a little bit more data. The mm -hmm. tachometer is a little bit bigger. The next one is a very simple track layout, um, mm -hmm. very, very driver focused. That'll allow you to see only what's necessary and then have all your warnings built into the background. And then the last item would be more of a tuning page. So you'll have your EGT set up mm -hmm. with RPM and your AFRs. So if something's out of spec, you can keep a close eye on those while right. tuning. Very, very cool. Yeah, this will be like really helpful in the dyno. And how many pages can you have all together? So you can have seven all together. So you I think have I'll be good with like three. <laughs> so you have four four display pages, right, with yeah. data. And then you also have your alarm screen that mm -hmm. can pop up in the event something catastrophic is happening where you need to shut down. Mm -hmm. You can have an on change page mm -hmm. that'll pop up and it could display your engine mode if you're switching from a high boost to a low boost. It can just be a visual notification that you made that change. Oh. Okay. And then you can also have your splash screen that comes up and it'll pop up before the dash starts and it's, mm -hmm. it's like a boot screen. Yep. And so this is the same software that I would use to change the outputs and the displays, like the coolant, the speed and everything else, moving all that around? Exactly. So the beauty of this is this is a free software available on our website. Mm -hmm. You can download it onto your personal computer mm -hmm. and you can configure it however you'd like. So <laughs> it all it's all set up and um, it all works. So let's take a step back and let's walk you through a little bit of the setup on what I needed to do to allow this to work. Mm. Um, so all I did originally was what I did getting started on the software is I went and I selected the new setup mm -hmm. um, and grabbed a uh, grabbed a couple screens using the import screen function. So I pressed import screen and I scrolled through and I, I found a couple of the good diagnostic pages we have and a couple of the good race pages we have. So we'll start out with something simple like one of our hex layouts. So this is our green hex layout and here you can see it's pre-configured for gear, water temp, oil pressure, battery volts, RPM, speed, and your AFR. Mm -hmm. What you'll need to do first is come over to CAN and we have the MoTeC M150 computer and the AEM K-Type EGT module. We have those both wired to port 2 and then we need a terminating resistor. And so terminating resistor has a physical thing to add in? The, the One of the benefits of the AEM dash, it has a software selectable mm -hmm. terminating resistor. Mm -hmm. So it cleans up the wiring a bit and it's just a checkbox rather than adding another device. Or and then port one and port two is the, the two different cans that come into the back of this. Correct. That we were playing with earlier. We'll just come down to import, import can DBC. Okay. So EGT, open, those are configured. We will press import, import can DBC. Mm -hmm. Find the MoTeC M1. It's a good thing we're filming this because I'm sure I'll remember it all. So from the list, there's a number of MoTeC uh, devices that we've already pre-configured to receive. We'll select that one. So we can import and receive and log all of those channels alongside the EGT data, alongside the VDM data, all in one place in the dash. 
now after those are imported, they are all in our channels list right here. So once we have items in the channels list, we can go back to screens. What we're gonna be doing here is basically setting which, um, which number is gonna show which, which item. Just by clicking on the number, clicking on the input, making a selection, in this, in this case, first one's gear. Select that, do the same for RPM, which is engine speed. So we find, find engine speed, RPM, mm -hmm. set that one, engine speed again for the other engine speed, press OK. And then you can even change the, um, like the words, the labels, I should say, yep. uh, for each value. Exactly. In this case, um, let's say for this first item, coolant temp, that's pretty important to you, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll make sure we're monitoring coolant temp. Then uh, let's say next to that, you're more concerned maybe with, with oil temp rather than your battery volts. Mm -hmm. So on that item, we could scroll over here, type in, um, it's labeled engine oil temp, and we'll change the label there, just its location on screen a bit. Yeah, that's easy. And there it is. And yeah, so you can change the values there, but um, like, how do you know what the place these values at versus what it's actually reading, and so that's accurate? What we can do here is we'll take a look at right here, mm -hmm. which is labeled a square bar graph, vertical, yep. and the data we can set the start and end point. So okay. we can actually define the scope and the range of this graph. Um, so for something like your oil temp, the, you can set the minimum to say 100 degrees Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. and what's what's kind of the, the top end that you would see? Like 280 is bad news, so. 280 is bad news. <laughs> so. so we could set the range to the top to 280. So now when that data comes in, it'll uh, read in that manner. That is pretty slick. I feel like I'm gonna be wasting a lot of time on this. <laughs> and I picked up a Nissan 350Z. It had just come back to the market uh, in 2003, and I felt that getting a car that was going to be new and flashy and not just another 240 would help me stand out in that crowd. You know, I actually made payments on that car through the first five years of Formula D that it had that.